How fast do the best Tour de France female riders go up mountains? And how do they compare to a fit amateur like myself? To find out, we're gonna have a virtual race up the most famous Tour de France climb against arguably the best female Tour de France pro climber. Let's do it. To celebrate the Tour de France Femme avec Zwift, Zwift has set up a special race for us with one of the best climbers in the women's pro peloton, Ashley Moorman Passio of Team AG Insurance Sudal Quickstep. At just 49 kilograms, her power to weight ratio is insane. She is a climbing machine and has won many prestigious races. Now our race is simple. We're gonna go head to head up the Alpe de Zwift, a superbly accurate recreation of Alpe d'Huez, the most famous Tour de France climb. There's a five kilometer run in and then the 12 kilometer climb starts. Now here is Ashley. Hi Oli, Ash Moman Passio here and I've heard your victory over a former Tour de France champion has been mentioned quite a few times this year. Well, the GCN team want to be sure you haven't been resting on your laurels and they've asked me if I can keep you on your toes and take you on on a one-on-one -on -one challenge. However, unfortunately, I'm pretty preoccupied with the Tour de France femme avec Zwift right now. But don't worry, the Zwift team have come up with a great idea. They've proposed you race Robo Me. So I'm wishing you all the best of luck as you take my avatar on on the virtual roads of Zwift up the Alp du Zwift. All the best. Ashley there, referring to the fact that I managed somehow to get the better of Geraint Thomas in a Zwift race last year. Although if I'm being truly honest with myself, I did catch him napping and I don't think he was either at full fitness or really giving it 100%. Um, that said, I can't imagine Robo Moomin Passio is going to take it easy on me. I mean, I've seen Terminator 2. I know how this goes down. Most amateur cyclists dream of going under an hour up this 12 kilometer beast that averages 8.5%. Now, the best women in the world go significantly faster than that. I'm in pretty good shape though, so I'm keen to see where I stand. Now, while I just warm up ahead of this rather scary race, um, it's a good opportunity to tell you that if you want to ride some of the, well, iconic, famous Tour de France climbs that are in this year's tour and also the Tour de France Femme avec Zwift, you can do because there's a new portal feature on Zwift which allows you to try them out for yourself. So climbs like the Aspan and the Tourmalet and many others too. Speaking of which, the Aspan and Tourmalet stage is going to be this weekend. So you can watch it live and on demand on GCM Plus um, and ad free as well. So make sure you check that out because, well, after racing Robo Moorman Passio, I'm going to be really keen to see how she gets on in real life. I'm on the start line now, just waiting to go and see Robo Moorman Passio there. So I've been told that Robo Moorman Passio is going to ride a set sort of power output. Now, this is gonna be what is to me a mind-blowing 5.7 watts per kilo. But what's even more mind-blowing about that is they've set that in a fatigued state for Ashley Moorman Passio. So if she were fresh, she'd do significantly better than that, which is just, I mean, that's, it's just ridiculous. But this is to simulate how she would be after a week of racing. It's gonna be hard. So what I'm gonna do is out the gate, I'm gonna, use the five kilometer flat running section to try and get a buffer for the climb because she weighs so much less than me that I actually have to produce quite a bit more power on the flat. So I, I can gain an advantage on the flat and I'm gonna try and use it. I've got a gap already off the line. All right, settle down. She's out the draft. Settle down. I'm going a bit too hard here. Let's got to press on a decent wattage. I know what I can do, roughly, for an hour. And I've just got to hope I can do more than that today. Robo Ashley is set to do lower watts per kilo. You see it there, 3.8 on the run into the climb, because that's to sort of simulate what she would typically have to do on the run into a climb, on the flat sections of a tour stage. 
So, I'm like a breakaway rider, you know, going from the gun, trying to get a lead, because I suspect she's gonna climb a lot quicker than me. Built up 40 seconds lead, 3.8K in. Oh, I was hoping for more. See if I can get a bit more. Don't want to go too hard though, otherwise I will blow up spectacularly on the climb. It's all about pacing it. It's basically an hour long FTP test. Right, this is the start of the climb. Whew. And my gap is 51 seconds. My eyes are just transfixed on that time gap. It went out to 56 seconds, and now it's 54. And I'm, I just gotta do the, the time trial of my life here. Gaps down to 30 seconds, 31. But I just got to feather power up. Oh, come on. Oh, she's got me in her sights now. She can see me. And it's 15 seconds gap. This isn't looking good. I mean, I'm up to turn 15, it means there's 15 to go, and she's nine seconds behind me now. I'm gonna dig in and try and use her draft. Hold on as long as I can. Oh no, here she is. She's caught me just before turn 13. And like now, for me, this is all about damage limitation. I've got to remember, I'm representing all the amateurs out there and GCN. One of the nice things about Alp the Zwift that is remarkably similar to real life is you get these little micro rests on the hairpins and they kick you out like with the camber. I'm halfway up the climb now. I'm gonna try and limit my loss to within five minutes of her. If I can do that, I think that's respectable. Okay, 4K to go, last third, come on. This is pure pain. Oh, come on. 
It's got another feather power up. Get in. I can activate it on here. Coming up to the last hairpin. I think I'm, I'm going to try and get a PB. All right, Flam Rouge, race to the line, empty the tank. Come on. That pace is unreal. Like I said, for an amateur, I'm, I'm in good shape, you know? I work hard, but I don't have any remarkable genes like someone of the caliber of Ashley. But I can see on the results, you know, across that entire effort, she's done five and a half watts per kilo, and I've done 4.8. That is the fastest I've ever gone up there. One of the great things about Zwift as a training tool is that it's so good at like gamifying it and motivating you. I've, I've just done a PB, I think, by 20 seconds. And part of the, well, big reason for that is having that carrot that was chasing me and then I was chasing. Oh, oh God, I'm absolutely battered. Well, that was absolutely ridiculous. I've been completely annihilated going up there. By my calculations, just over four minutes she put into me. And that's despite me doing 325 watts on the climb, which for me, I'm, I'm not embarrassed by that. That's, that's really good for me. I think, you know, I feel quite proud of that, to be honest, but it just shows you how high the level is of riders like Ashley. I mean, she was doing 5.7 watts per kilo. I just can't compete with that. I couldn't stay with that when she passed me. Yeah, the level is so high. And we need to point out as well, that's her when she's not even fresh. You know, that's in, in a fatigued state. That's the watts per kilo that she would do in a race. So it's scary to think what she would do at the beginning of, of a race or in a one day race. But well, I hope this has whetted your appetite for the, for the uh, Tour de France Femme Avec Zwift. Certainly has mine. I can't wait to see what Ashley and the other riders do in real life on climbs like the, the Aspan and the Tourmalet. So if you want to watch it, make sure you do on GCM Plus, live, on demand and ad free. And if you enjoyed watching my pain faces today, I mean, there were many, then, uh, well, give this video a thumbs up and uh, let us know your thoughts in the comments below. I'm going to go now and uh, I think I've earned some cake. Love you. Bye.